This is a review of the Sony 200 to 600 mil lens. This is a new lens for me. I've owned it just a few months and used it just a handful of times. It's a great lens for birds, wildlife, aviation, sports. I don't do any of that. I shoot landscapes and I try to make hiking videos. So I'm not exactly sure why I bought it. I quite like buying lenses, like many of us, and I'm a sucker for the Sony winter cashback deal. So I ended up with this. First thing that struck me about it is the size. It's bloody huge. It's massive. It's heavy. It's just over two kilos. It's great for a bit of weightlifting between, I was gonna say between sets. Great for a bit of weightlifting between shots. And uh, yeah, it's big. It doesn't fit in my camera bag. It doesn't even fit in my hiking bag very well. This front piece removes fit it backwards it makes it a bit shorter but it's still a big old thing so that caught me out a little bit although it should be expected I think it's 200 to 600 mil full frame Sony glass it was never going to be small it has an internal zoom so throughout the full range from 200 to 600 mil externally it doesn't change this is great. I've had lenses in the past. I've seen lenses available now where they're sort of telescopic and the zoom happens externally as well as internally. This one doesn't do that. That's great. I think it probably helps with the waterproofing, maybe keeping dust out. The zoom, I quite like this feature. The zoom from 200 to 600 mil is just that. It's less than a quarter turn, maybe somewhat overrating that but I quite like the fact that I can go from 200 to 600 just like that it's 400 mil and it's very little effort and even with that it doesn't feel overly coarse you can still have some fine control it's just a nice little action for the full range of 400 mil it has the handle that I'm holding there this has got a mounting point which is very useful as you can see I've fitted a um, Manfrotto tripod mount to it because with this lens, it's well past the point of putting a lens on your camera. It's very much a case of putting a camera on your lens. This is really handy because you can plunk that on your tripod and then do exactly that. You can put a camera on your lens. And once it's on the tripod using that mount, it feels about right. I think when you're shooting something on the horizon or about level, it feels about right. You have the camera here, the balance, the centre of gravity feels good. I did do some experimenting. I was shooting at the moon, as you do when you get a new long lens. And having it on the tripod like that felt really odd. And my Manfrotto tripod wasn't really up to it. It just becomes really off balance. But anything near level feels really nicely balanced. And that is a really nice feature. Even so, keeping it steady is a bit of an issue. I recently took it up into the mountains a few weeks ago and it was quite windy. Uh, shooting video, even with image stabilisation on, caused all kinds of havoc in 20, 30, up to 40 mile an hour winds. We'll come onto the stabilisation shortly, but you need a good tripod, even when you're taking advantage of that centre mounting point. And on to the price. Bloody hell get a new credit card quite expensive I'm not going to go into it but in fairness the 600 mil f4 version that Sony make is over 13,000 pounds so you can get this for about a tenth of the price this does 200 to 600 mil so it's a bit more versatile and at 600 mil it's at f 6.3 instead of the super expensive 13,000 pound lens, which is F4, it's 600 mil F4. So the compromise, the difference between F4 and F6.3 at 600 mil is quite a lot, as you know, but it's not 12,000 pounds, quite a lot. So good value, I would say. And it's Sony glass, it's good, 
Sony G glass and if you look after it like I will try to do then it holds its value that's the way I look at it see it as an investment that f-stop number f 5.6 to 6.3 that small change I tend to think that's a bit of a shame it would have been nice if Sony could have made it so it's constant but I don't understand the engineering of these things. It looks like a lot of effort's gone into it, and I'm sure there was a good reason why they couldn't make it a constant 5.6. Although, it does seem a bit of a shame. Quality-wise, I've got no complaints at all. It's absolutely fantastic. The sharpness is really good. I've had a couple of times, a couple of moments, where I was up in the mountains with it. I'll put a link to that video here or here. I can't remember which way to do that. YouTube novice. I put a link up to that video, it's called something like Camping in Strong Winds with the Sony 200 to 600 mil mouth full of a title. YouTube novice. Completely forgotten what I was gonna say about that. Quality, sharpness. So that was up in the mountains. I was trying to shoot things miles away, two miles. I think out to about 10 miles. You're just looking through so much atmosphere. Here today, we're gonna to do a test shortly. And over that way, if you can see that, with the Morven Hills, that's a good 20 to 30 miles away. So we'll take a look at that and a few other things on the horizon. But up in the mountains, humid, wet weather, just a lot of atmosphere. And I felt like it struggled with sharpness, but there's nothing you can do about it. When you're looking through miles and miles of atmosphere and humidity, you're gonna lose a bit of that. I felt that with the focus. Uh, I'm a big manual focuser. I did test the autofocus. It's a little switch on the side. Autofocus for photography. It felt fast, quick, accurate. No complaints there. But I'm a big manual focuser for video. And I found that with the peaking lines, they weren't showing up on anything in the distance. I think this it's probably not a fault of the lens, this is probably a fault of me, it's probably a fault of my poor focus peak in settings in camera. I'm sure there's something I can tweak and do about it. But they weren't showing up and what I found was happening, shooting anything in the distance where there was a, a lot of humidity, a lot of atmosphere between me and the subject, a mountain a mile away or two miles away, I was getting no peaking lines at all at the exposure that I wanted. What I found myself having to do was bump the exposure up so it was overexposed. The peaking lines would show. I'd then focus, drop the exposure back down, which is a bit of a pain. But I think that's just uh, something that happens when shooting long distances and through thick atmospheres. Overall quality of the images, excellent. As I said, quality of the lens, good. Robust, strong. I like this shroud. It reduces the length. It adds the protection for this otherwise overexposed and vulnerable front glass by just adding a bit of distance for when people like me bashing off rocks in the mountains. Something else worth noting when using this beast of a lens is that when you're using a full frame Sony you can take advantage of the APS-C mode, which is a 1.5 times crop. And on this 600 mil lens, it's gonna give you the equivalent of 900 mil in video mode, which is pretty bonkers. Of course, in photo mode, you can do that, but it just cuts into the resolution. And in video, you get a full 4K image at 900 mil. It amplifies all the things we've talked about. The stabilization becomes even more difficult the sharpness and the focus becomes even more difficult, but it's 900 mil. So we'll give that a test again today, maybe over on the Malvern Hills in the distance there, some 30 miles away. 250 mil, 300, 400, nice green farmer's field in the foreground there, 500 mil, and the end of the lens, 600 mil. Beautiful, image stabilization on, no wobble in the tripod there. We have a slight breeze. The weather's gone a bit poor, but hopefully that's a good example and someone finds it useful. 
We do have the extra 300 mil to take this up to 900 mil with the APS-C mode crop, but on this example, it's definitely not worth it because we'd lose that green farmer's field. In fact, let me show you. I can't show you the APS-C mode test or any of the other footage because here's the memory card. I got my deadlift up to 250 kilos and now I just go around breaking stuff. I don't know my own strength. I was holding a newborn baby just yesterday and it's absolutely bloody terrifying. So that's it. I'm going to have to cut it short. I hope someone found the video useful. If anyone wants to buy this lens or anything else from Amazon or Wex, do it through my links in the description and I earn a few quid at no extra cost to you. Leave any feedback on the video. I'm going to try and do a bit more of this stuff in the future along with my hiking and adventure type videos. That's it. Like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Cheers.